Hello Guardians, no guard here, and welcome to Skin Walker. This is a short indie horror game. They say it doesn't have that much interaction, it's like um, kind of an interactive story thing. And it's, um, as I said, the following story really happened. It didn't really happen. It was based on some uh, creepy pasta thingy that I don't know. Well, let's just go blind inside of this, shall we? So, Joe says, The following story really happened. I saw it with my own eyes. Maybe it didn't happen as I saw it. But more on that later. We were all going out camping. Me and three friends from university. So, okay. Let me introduce my friends. Okay. This is Darren. I wouldn't say that he is our group of friends leader. Or actually, I would. He's the one that always gets us all out of the house and into the action. He's the first one to hit on that cute girl by the bar. He's the first one to jump from the roof into the swimming pool. According to himself, he was even more impulsive when he was a kid. I can only imagine his childhood, and how often he must have broken his leg, scraped his knees and hit his head. Still, if it weren't for Darren, we wouldn't have half the amount of fun we have. Okay. So. This girl is Celeste. Celeste. In Portuguese you say Celeste. I'll just say Celeste. We have known each other since we were children. We met each other when she moved into the house next door when I was seven. My mom told me to go show around the neighborhood and after that we were inseparable for a few years. She's a nice girl, although her health health isn't the best. She has some kind of heart problem, which if I forgot the name of. This forced her to be away from school during extended periods of time during her childhood. Because of this, until we started university, I was her only friend. Still, she never complained and I've always seen her as a positive, happy girl. So, is this me? Okay, next is me, I'm Joe. Nice to meet you, Joe. As the name implies, I'm pretty normal. Pfft, name doesn't mean anything. I don't have any overwhelming bad qualities, but on the other hand, I don't have any overwhelmingly good ones either. I live in this apartment, a short walk from my university. This is where us four friends usually gather before going out. And this is... This guy here, looking all relaxed on my bed, is Michael. He's my neighbor, living in the apartment next door. One day, while I, I had Celeste over, he just barged in. Hey man, your place looks pretty nice. Mind if I join in for dinner? He said. As you can imagine, he's pretty pushy. I don't think he realizes it himself. He came over several times after that day. After that, we somehow naturally became friends. So, all the characters are introduced. So... So one day Darren came with the idea that we should go camping. Darren says his family had a cabin a little bit into the forest. So camping we went. Could be fun, right? Yeah, of course. Of course me, Michael and Celeste dislike the idea of staying in a cabin. It's a camping trip. We have to sleep in the wilderness. So Darren told us about the woods near the cabin. I don't remember much about the trip to the cabin. We joked around, took a few breaks, normal stuff. Either way, we drove up to the cabin and left the car there. We took a short break in, in the cabin and set out into the wilderness. Wilderness or wilderness, I don't know. We went pretty far in. I can't say how far in the distance exactly, but it took several hours to get to where we set up camp. So, the first day we just screwed around, nothing abnormal happened. But, but then, okay, something terrifying happened, no, I don't know, something absolutely scary as fucking hell, no, wait, Z, okay, no need to go into the tent right now, okay, did he sleep well last night, yeah, I slept very good, I slept okay, thank you very much, Morning there, or should I say good afternoon? Fix us some wood for a fire, will ya? 
I'm on it. I'm on it. Oh, I set out to gather wood for a new fire and water to cook with. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, there's the fire. You just got it automatically. Mm hmm. Okay. It's not so big. So, hmm. Why are you showing me around? Okay. Automatically here. What is that sound? It doesn't sound like something you'd hear in a forest. Uh, definitely not. I can't even describe what there is. There we go, a bucket of water. Where do you have the bucket, man? Where do you have the bucket? Always putting objects inside of your butts. In every single game. The sound stopped. I don't know. Don't look at me. My head hurts. Okay. The hell is ro- Onk, the guy's sleeping there. The, don't know his name anymore. We sure had a blast yesterday, didn't we? Yes. That's that's what his name again. I don't remember. Oh, we had the blast, and we had the blast. Oh, let's make the fire. I should have enough wood to make the fire last a while tonight. Pop. <laughs> and hey. There is an yeah, and then where's the fire? Why do I make the fire? Oh, okay, sorry. Okay, we can cook now. Let's cook. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Hungry. <laughs> Later that evening. Okay. What happened? Uh, everything is getting reddish, brownish. Hello, I'm here. Okay. Hello, it's time to go to sleep soon. We're all out of booze. Guess we have to go back to town tomorrow. We're kids and we're drinking alcohol. Okay, it's good. It's normal. I'm not looking forward to that four hour trek. Maybe we shouldn't have gone so deep in. <laughs> oh, shit. What the hell is up with this fog? Every time I've been here before, there haven't been any fog. It's definitely something wrong. <laughs> Let's just check it out. Because if I don't, they are not gonna do it themselves for sure. I shouldn't go too far from the camp. It's evening and I don't want to go walking through a dark forest. It's not so dark. Okay, okay, okay. So what shall I do? Talk to the fire. I know I can talk to her still. Why not? Hello. Oh, man. The other side, maybe. Okay, it's really chilly outside for being in the middle of summer. Hey, anyone else hear that sound? It's kind of a me metallic sound. It's just weird. Can't describe this. Yeah, now that you mention, what is that? It's not like something met metal. -y. Yes, that's what I exactly, exactly, Michael, exactly. We're on the same wave, Michael. We're on the same mental wave, metally. Ha ha. Is that even a word? Are you stupid? No, I said I'm calling me stupid. I thought the same. <laughs> Shut up, asshole. It's a word if I say so. Being rude, aren't we? My god, calm down. It's thought maybe it was some kind of machine. Who the hell would go out hours from the nearest civilization in the middle of the night and start revving up some kind of weird machine? The Albed! No, I don't know. You guys don't know what the Albed is. Maybe you do. Some of you. If you do, if, if any of you know what Albed is, are, you're awesome. If you don't, you're also awesome. But, another kind of awesome. There's another level of awesome, you know. <laughs> anyway, who gives a shit? It's probably someone using a chainsaw or something. Oh, shit. Let's go to sleep. Yeah, let's go to sleep! Who cares about a weird noise, you know? Let's go to sleep. I'm not scared at all. Are you stupid? Just, can they go to sleep? Why something so weird is going on? Seriously? Like some cheap horror movie. Okay, let's just... Uh, what then? Should I take the water? Or, yeah. Should I take those bottles? And, okay, bottles. And 
Sleepiness soon overtook everyone. Oh, that was not bottles. It was pillows or what? I don't know. I don't know. I don't want anything to to to. What the fuck? Oh my god. But something woke you up a few hours later in your half-wake state. Oh fucking hell. This reminds me of Blair Witch Project. That movie made me piss my pants. I was crying because I was so scared, man. People say that movie was not scary, but fucking hell. I was fucking crying. You stumbled outside the tent. No baby noises, no nothing, please. Nix, nothing like that. Physical. Okay. Darren? Michael? Celeste? Is that you? The mist is even thicker than before. Can't see much. Oh shit. Oh fucking heck. Good luck. I'm gonna go this way. First. There's a. Nah, I'm not gonna go here. There's no way there. There's. Okay. So where's the lake? The sound is coming from somewhere else. Okay, I'm not gonna go to any dead ends. Uh, dead ends are not good. Gonna whoa! What the fuck is that? There's someone there. Michael, is that you? Michael, say something, will you? Who are you? Who are you? Presence, ghost thingy, don't come fucking! Whoa! Stop right there! I have a knife. I swear I. Stop! This is fucking creepy. This noise. Get the fuck out, man! What the fuck are you doing? Shit! Yeah, 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 yeah. Just run. Just fucking run. Just fucking don't stop running, man. Just don't fucking stop. Fucking stop running. Fucking fucking running, man. Just fuck. Get out of the fucking forest, everyone. Just tell everyone to get out of here as fast as they fucking can. Hey, wake up! There is something outside the tent. Seriously, guys, out of here now. I'm sure there is lots of squirrels and shit. Go back to sleep. No, seriously. Is Michael here? Um, yeah, I'm here. Uh, why wouldn't I be? I don't know. The thing outside looked like you. It was probably some animal. Yeah, right. I don't think we have to worry about a fox or whatever. Take it easy and go back to sleep. Well, alright then. Maybe it was just some animal. Seriously, dude? You d you saw it. It was not some animal at all. Oh, damn it. No, oh, whatever, man. You're screwed. You're all screwed. You're all screwed. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, drop it. Whoever there is, I want to sleep already. It wasn't me. Me neither. Didn't sound like any of our voices. Well, shit. No, I'm never going to be able to sleep. Should we go outside and look? Yeah, right. What if it's some crazy psycho with an axe? All the more reason to. Ch yeah, of course. Yeah, sure. It's not like the tent is some kind of impenetrable fortress. Yeah, yeah. yeah seriously, if that was one of you guys telling me right now, it isn't funny anymore. This ain't funny anymore. This ain't funny anymore. Okay, everyone get out together and check it out. It ain't gonna go on alone. I wouldn't go alone either. The fuck? Oh, fuck. The heck is that? Someone was definitely here. Shit! Shit, shit, shit! C calm down, Celeste. We are four against one here. It'll be fine. What if the dude got some kind of weapon with him? I mean, he killed this little creature. Creature? Creature? Didn't he? Michael is right. We gotta get the hell out of here. Yes, you should have thought about that long ago. We start hearing those weird sounds. We can't just stop and leave. It's the middle of the night. What about our stuff? Screw our stuff. I'm not staying here another minute. Fine, we'll leave, but at least bring the flashlight and some food and water. I think you're overreacting, though. We haven't even seen anyone, but Joe saw someone. Hello. Still, someone or something left this dead creature here. And you heard someone laughing. Come on. How stupid can you be? We can't exactly go back to sleep with no worries. Teenagers, teenagers. 
Guess you're right. I'll go get the flashlight. Everyone bring some stuff you think we might need. Oh shit! And it goes on. Man. What kind of creature is this anyway? I have no idea. I don't care. Let's go. This time I'm gonna... Shit! I'm gonna go here. It was there. This is getting louder. This... This, this shit. This shit. Just shit. Okay. So dark. At least it's still summer. It's not peach black. This fog is really annoying though. So we are going back to the cabin, right? I guess that's the plan. Someone is going up here. No. Okay. Fucking hell is there! Hey, God, he's there. He's following you. Shit. Oh, fuck. This is not gonna end up well at all. Okay. While later it became obvious Darren had no idea where we were going. He was swearing and looking all around. Mm hmm. Sounds familiar like Blair Witch Project. Yep, yep. We have been walking for awfully long now. Are you sure we are on the right path, Darren? I've walked this path path hundreds of times. We are on the right path, definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't recognize anything from when we were walking to the camp, though. I said we are on the right path. Mm -mm. There, just admit you have no idea what you are doing. But as time went on, it became obvious that Darren had no idea where we are. Yeah, what I said. Darren couldn't find the path. The path. Maybe it was the fog, maybe the darkness, maybe something else. Either way, we were lost. I kept looking behind me. I was having that feeling where you think someone is watching or stalking you. You were right. I nearly, nearly tripped over Celeste when she fell. Help Celeste up? E yes. I took Celeste's hand and dragged her to her feet. It was getting even mistier. If not for the flashlight, I wouldn't have any idea who she was. Was it good that I helped her? I recognized that tree. We're getting to the cabin. Finally, again I had the feeling that something was watching me. My gut was screaming at me that something somewhere was wrong. I realized the sound from earlier was back. Softer, but still present. I started looking around, panicking. Did a head count, or more accu accurately, silhouette count. Me, Celeste still, had, still holding my hand, Darren in the lead, Michael to the left. Who the heck was the guy besides Michael? Oh, fuck. My grip on Celeste's hand tightened and I quickened my pace. I thought about shouting out but was worried. If I did, maybe the thing would turn around and jump Michael or something. I didn't know what to do. I ran my fingers along a knife I brought from camp. Then the cabin appeared. Out of nowhere. The mist was starting to disintegrate around us. It was easier to make out who everyone was now. Oh shit. I looked at the thing next to Michael. She looked just like Celeste. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, ah, the thing whose hand I was holding leaned in front of me, it wasn't Celeste. Oh, I should have ran her screen but my body was clenching up for no reason. So fucking creepy man, the thing turned and walked into the mist. Oh shit, I caught up with the others as they entered the cabin, practically in tears. They couldn't find the car and were arguing about where we put it. I told them what I saw. Obviously they didn't believe me. Still, everyone hurried inside and locked the door. Shit. He followed us here. He really wants something from us. He doesn't seem to have anything to break down the door with, though. What the hell does he want with us? It! Hell if I know! Ask him! Stop! 
fucking shit. Sh fucking creepy. It's a sturdy door, it'll be alright, won't it? I hope so. Celeste is creeped out. She's breathing quite heavily. And you? I have nothing. We're safe here, it's cool, man. Okay, chill out, man. Chill out. Chill out, man. Or not. Did he go away? I hope it did. Okay. Shit! The bastard hit the breaker. But he can't get in, right? Yeah! Because it's crazy. Celeste! He, he's just trying to scare us. Take it easy. Okay. I know, I know. Celeste! Come on, don't be creeped out. Oh, Celeste's crying. Celeste seems to be hyperventilating. It's alright, Celeste, the door is locked. And it's the only way in. We're safe here. There has to be other ways in, man. Seriously. It's a huge house. A huge cabin. Not huge, but big cabin. There has to be other ways to go inside. Besides the main door. Oh, man, man. No response. Well, no response, no response, so... We played some cards here before going out camping. Yep, cool. Who is that? That's the thing! Get the fuck out of the thing! Okay, it's gone? Okay. Very, a very simple kitchen. Various tableware. So, let's go back to the others. But if I leave Celeste there, maybe, um, I don't know. Hello! Creature. He's not there anymore. It has to be him. That has to be him. I cannot trust anyone in this game. It can be anyone. That's the piece of shit in this game. You saw something looking like me? Yes. Uh, was it you? I guess he's not gonna answer that. Ah, oh, fuck it. Ah, uh, fuck. Suddenly a strong sense of nausea hit me. There was something in the air. I could feel the horror overtaking me again. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. It was not him, I think. I guess it was not him. He's having a seizure. Are you okay, sir? Mr. Michael? Oh, fuck. He's done for. Shit. What about the others? Celeste? And Darren, man, okay, Celeste's here, hello, Celeste, hello, what the fuck are you doing, Celeste? Uh, okay, she's crying or something, she's crying, oh fuck, Darren, Darren, are you okay, get, can't get up, okay, fuck, some s creepy sounds in the background. Saying. Just no weird sounds. Nothing. Oh fuck, what do I do now? Shit. I've no idea. Okay. Uh okay. Brr. Shit, here. Oh man, I'm getting Getting chills already! Fuck! Man. Shall I? Shall I? No. 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 No, no, no. Nothing useful inside. What shall I do now? Is this it or what? I don't know. Holy. F A bench made of piece of shit. A table and whatever, man. A little bit of load. A couple of books and. Go to heaven? Again? Oh man. Couldn't take it anymore. I have to lie down. Okay, good. I couldn't sleep and I wouldn't even have even. If I could, I just wanted to rest. Yeah. I waited for the world to stop spinning. I looked out a window. You could just lay there on the bed with all this weird fucking shitty creepy piece of shit. Oh fuck, there was someone on the tree. So fucking creepy, man. How can you look at this? I stared back, not able to register what was going on. I quickly pulled the bling, the blinds down. The blinds down. Celeste came through the door. She looked pale and dis 
freaking field? Is he a field? Never heard of this word. Never heard of this word before. I dragged her to the bed and laid her down. She was gasping for air, for air as if something was suffocating her. Eventually, her breathing became more regular. Okay, good. I asked where the others were. She shrugged. Fuck. The room had stopped spinning a bit, but I felt far from good. This is not over. Suddenly a voice could be heard from the locked door. What was worse though, was that it was Celeste's voice. Man, fuck it! Let me in, let me in, God, let me in there! This was not... I don't know who to trust. Her eyes grew wide with shock and alarm, but they could have been faked. What are you doing? No! I'm the real one! The one out there! That's the imposter! Oh fuck, it's gonna be like that, right? It's gonna be like that. Don't know who to trust, was kind of in trance, unsure what to do, and staring down at her. Fuck! Fuck! What to do? Oh man, maybe I would have stabbed her if the voice at the door hadn't changed into some low, deep, guttural voice. Oh thank god, thank then it became high-pitched. Like a little girl's. I pulled my knife away. Good. I snapped out of the trance. Now the nausea was returning. I got to the door and opened it. There was nothing there but a trail of black liquid. That's. Suddenly I got this feeling that it might not be the best idea to go outside. Do not go fucking outside. Maybe I have to go outside to protect to progress but for now I'm just gonna check on Celeste 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 is not good suddenly I got this sinking feeling in my stomach like something was seriously out of place seriously I couldn't place the reason but I would soon find out oh, fucking hell man oh, at the end Michael was lying on the floor shot to death how I how I know he was shot to death? Just a feeling. Just a feeling? Celeste was dead, lying in a pool of blood on the floor. It looked like she had been shot. Panic started flowing through every vein in my body. Every vein. Every single one. Fuck. Everyone is fucking dead. Recently shot to death, Darren was lying on the floor. I could see the wounds from the shotgun. SHOTGUN! FUCK! Suddenly I realized. What? Was there really someone outside? I don't know! No. The shotgun. How tempting he'd had been. He'd had been looking for the right moment for a long time. What? The right moment for what, you ask? Why, the right moment to kill my friends, obviously. What else? The shotgun. Oh, how tempting it you had been. I just had to do it. Always taking me for granted those bastards just because I'm nothing special this should teach them not to mess with me dude dude what the fuck dude what the fuck I got the bad end is there a good ending well, maybe I shouldn't have helped Celeste maybe I wouldn't have helped Celeste or then maybe if I would have went outside also would have changed something I am definitely gonna try for the good ending if you guys know exactly how it works tell me but I'm gonna just try it for myself another day it's probably gonna be a shorter video of course but well I am definitely gonna try it so you guys see it or you guys can try playing the game for yourself cuz well because, well, the link is on description in the description down below, as always. So you can download it and try it out for yourself. So this was um, Skinwalker. It's really, really a very good game. Uh, more of a narrative game. Not so much interactivity. Not so much to interact with. But I still liked it. It was really creepy. Like uh, a really creepy story that you are reading and really get into it. And... Ugh really really well made I really want to know what happens on the other ending so guys I hope you enjoyed the video 
Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Oh, there's someone there. Okay. Hello. Okay, someone just joined me, so this should be fun. I don't have time to talk, man. I have to kill you. I have to kill you. The hidden test join the game. The test is gonna suffer the consequences of joining the game. Without warning. Hello. What the fuck are you 